that day's minute is going to be a long way. But somehow you get to connect with a student and have a conversation about what you actually do. Art club or the science club will change that. You need to think of that an avenue that could allow that to happen. Well, one of the things that's worked in the world, I know we're being involved in the Chamber of Commerce, is an ambassador goes to you and says, come on, let's go to this meeting. Sit with me. That, you know, an invitation, a personal invitation like that goes along with it. We actually, we went through, uh, we worked with, or we were talking about working with the theater schools and bringing kind of an internship, almost like a follow, like how the, uh, the Catholic schools do it, the, they have a follow day where you can go through with these kids in the clubs and follow them and see how they're, how they like doing their right? Yeah. So. That's interesting. The other thing I wonder at the Peter schools would be open to that unless it's directly related to an academic curriculum. Like a hard time. I know some people are trying to get into talking about the but they just said no. Not unless it has to do something here. Yeah. Is that correct? You know, well, somebody was, mentioned, I'm sorry, for you know, it's a good idea, you know, I just think it's hard. Um, another thing I think that keep myself open to, I go to um, parent teacher conferences every day at all four schools, and they always ask kids, what are you involved in? I do this. You got to, it, it sounds like we have a, a group of kids here tonight that are very involved in many different things. Some kids just want to go to school, go home. This, yeah. You know? And we, we talked about that too, is getting the people that aren't very motivated to get involved with after school activities or, or clubs or anything like that. So I, I see where you're coming from. Something you mentioned, oh, I don't want to get my school in trouble. You know, Dr. Campbell has stated that, you know, through our process here tonight, there, there could be, you guys are initiating change, possibly. Okay? Um, so it's not I'm throwing my school under the bus and geez, I can't get a lot of stuff. No, go go to your school officials, go to your principals, let them know how you're feeling. Um, encourage your uh, peers to do the same thing. You're not getting anybody in trouble. Nobody's getting in trouble, but we want to enhance our district, right? We we want to make it better, and we're not mind readers. Dr. Kendall, his staff, they're not mind readers. Okay, you guys are on the front line. You come here every day, the doors open, you come in, you go to class. Um, you guys see things that could be a better idea. Bring it forward to your principal, to your counselor. There's nothing wrong with that. And to piggyback on that, thank you very much, because I definitely agree with what Mr. Bain just said. For all the students that presented today, it was not easy. You know, I know public speaking is very hard, and you're coming to us with some you know, very different ideas, things that we haven't heard of before. So do not take today away as nobody heard you. We absolutely did. And if you're passionate about it and you want to definitely see change, don't let today stop you or don't stop today. Continue to have these conversations. Come to another board meeting, you know, send us emails, especially things like stress management and, and you know, competition between your peers. You know, that, you know, I understand it's very important, you know, today for all ages. And, um, you know, if, if there's a, you know, a way that we can work together and make things better for maybe not yourselves but for future students here, you know, please don't stop. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thought about it, I really like what you say about those plays and my plays because you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to be here sure. in here uh, to see all the plays, but um, that's a good idea that you did bring up. Also, I wanted to touch on um, what you were saying. Have you ever been a part of the, like the, they call it the project when you do it? I, I have not, but I'm actually going tomorrow, so that's my first time. It's, it's really the experience. I got to see the theater schools. I got to actually be in uh, some of the theater schools while I was going on. And I, I was very impressed by it. They kind of do like a round table. Like the kids get to go to different, um, the students get to go to um, different, uh, I guess, stations. Like, okay, I'm in the chess club. I'm in the, and it's like a power. They kind of have the power. They can ask questions and, and kind of, I go here. Um, their club they hey our club is one floor and you know you all join it one person was part of like over 10 15 clubs at a time so I was very impressed by that so it's, it's really I think you'll enjoy it I think you really enjoy it so I see that I think that encourage other people to your list of things you don't do <laughs> very short <laughs> thank you
Will Superintendent Vanessa Solis please provide your report for you? Since the last regular board meeting, we received the following Freedom of Information Act request. Ms. Jennifer Summer of the Prince Foundation for Education has a list of all staff members, including campus, name, position, grade level, subject area, certifications, address, email, phone number, gender, race slash ethnicity, hire date, years of experience, and current salary. This request has been completed. Ms. Valentina Stinky of Chicago Land Construction requested the bid results for the field house editions of architectural precast panels for those editions. This request has been completed. I hope you enjoyed tonight's board meeting. In preparing for this meeting, our students have shared their thoughts regarding ed educational programs and worked very hard to learn the workings of, board, of the Board of Education. Behind the scenes, there are others who work to make this evening a success. I would like to thank our association principals and our assistant principals for teaching and learning, for working with the students to make students to be sure they were prepared. Also, I would like to thank the Tony Park High School maintenance staff for providing us with a special setup for this meeting. Preparations are beginning for the 2018-19 school year. Students are in the process of selecting their courses and we will be soon calculating the number of teacher sections and making very important staffing decisions. As in the past, our objective is to provide our students with the best possible schedule within the national constraints of our budget. Thank you. Do we have any reports from board members this week? Jackson, please provide the finance committee. Finance committee. Chairman Gleason, call the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Roll call. Present was Mrs. Gleason, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Ressler, Ressler, and Mrs. Morrison. No absences, no gifts. Old business, we have it. And new business is the chamber of the and press conference. The finance committee review 
and discuss the January bills and press uh, expenditures and deposits. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending full board approval of the January bill as presented. As presented. Career, development system, career Development System CDS bill. The finance committee reviewed and discussed the CDS bill totaling $153,234.64. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending full board approval of the CBS January bills as presented. Revised career development system <coughs> for FY18 budget. The finance committee reviewed and discussed the revised career development system budget for FY18. The budget needed to be amended to meet the new state requirements for salaries and benefits of CDS employees. These items must now be spread across all three funding sources, local, state, CT, I and federal purpose Perkins. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending full board approval of the revised CDS FY budget 2018 2018 budget. Spring 2018 athletic supplies and equipment bill. The finance committee reviews and discuss the results of the spring athletic supplies and equipment bill opening on December 13, 2017. The recommendation will be for the low bids attached to the board packet. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending the spring 2018 bid results as presented for a full board approval. Spring 2018 paper bid, the finance committee reviewed and discussed the results of the spring paper bid that was opened on January 5th, 2018. The low bid of $24,482.08 was submitted by Midland Paper. The superintendent along with the finance committee is recommending the acceptance of low bid for Midland Paper for full board approval. Phase two construction, field house and it's Ancillary addition bid results. The finance committee result. I mean, reviewed and discussed the results of the field house and ancillary addition bid opening on December 21st, 2017. Bid results were carefully reviewed and interviewed. Of vendors were conducted by architectural resources corporations and concept development group. The following bid results are recommended. For approval, precast, lumbar architectural precast, steel, corset steel, concrete, abbey pavement, and concrete by Wagner, roofing, elements, and elements and makings, plumbing, chess, Brooklyn, HVAC, flow tech, and air design, electrical, <coughs> meaning electric, storefront, curtain walls, CAB, roofing. Mess, J.E.L. General Trade C.M.M. Werner Nugget was the uh, apparent low bid for plumbing. However, upon further review, the company will not be able to provide the state of Illinois bid or performance by requirements. It is recommended that the board reject the bid of Werner Nugget as being not confirming. Conforming, the superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending these bids results for full board approval. Rejection of floor incorporated payment request number five. The finance committee discussed the rejection of floor incorporation payment request number five and the amount of nineteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-three dollars and eighty cents due to ongoing discussion regarding the floor dispute at Tilly Park High School and Oak Forest High School District 228 Attorney Ray Hausner has recommended that the Board of Education reject this payment request. The superintendent along with the finance committee has recommended this payment rejection for full board approval. Rate of payment increase, best members serving as temporary custodians. The finance committee discussed the rate of pay increase for best members who serve as temporary custodians from $10.30 an hour to $14 an hour. The district has had difficulties hiring temporary custodians and weekend custodians have been filling these positions for the current rate of $10.30 an hour for the past year and a half. The district feels that in order to keep the weekend custodians filling these positions, the pay increase is um, 
appropriate. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending this rate increase for full board approval. Announcements. The next finance committee meeting is Tuesday, February 13, 2018, at 7 p.m. at the administration center. Um, adjournment. Ms. Gleason adjourned the meeting at 7 p.m. Thank you. Would Mr. Centurion please provide the teaching and learning committee to vote? Call to order. The meeting was called at 6.30 p.m. Question number Mr. Johnson, Ms. Gleason, and Dr. Williams. By the same Mr. Cannon, and guests were Dr. Kendall. There were no comments from the public and no old business. New business consists of overnight field trip requests. The Brennan Girls Fires of the Softball team is requesting to attend a tournament at Gordon Hill High School in Tennessee. The team will take a minibus and students will fundraise to offset the cost of flying and food. The committee is recommending this trip to the full board for approval. Required course substitutions. The committee discussed the addition of several career courses that can be used as substitutions for a real course or courses in order to meet the graduation requirements. The committee also discussed removing a course from the list as it is no longer offered. The committee is requiring all submissions for the full board for approval. Technology course requirements for graduation. The committee discussed the need to revise the current list of courses students could use as a substitute for the technology graduation requirement that they failed to hire. Several courses need to be dropped as they no longer offered. The committee discussed adding new courses to this. In addition, the committee discussed alternative options for students transferring into the district and the West. Transfer students will already have the transfer degree to determine if the technology related courses are taken. If not, the student can substitute one of our approved courses and move to the MIA or digital literacy. The committee is recommending the revised course list and transfer students exception to the full board approval. Announcements. The next meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 13th at 6.30 p.m. at the Administration Center. The meeting adjourned at 6.30 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, we will begin the new business items. Ms. Anderson, would you please present item 11.1, bills, amendment to bills, payroll, and CBS bills. Item 11.1 pertains to the bills, the and the CPS bill. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, are recommending these items for full board approval. So moved. Is there any discussion? Jasmine Jean Simon, uh, Sarah Wu, uh, Victoria Solis, uh, Karen O'Hara, I. Miss Anderson, would you please present item 11.3, Spring Athletics Supplies and Equipment Day. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, are
Joshua Urgansky. Aye. Victoria Jackson. Aye. Martin Santillian. Aye. Jasmine J. Simon. Aye. Sarah Wolf. Aye. Victoria Solis. Aye. Karen O'Hara. Aye. Ms. Anderson, would you please present item 11.4, spring paper bid. Item 11.4 pertains to the results of the spring paper bid. The low bid was submitted by Midland Paper for $24,482.80. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending the low bid by Midland Paper for full work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joshua Urbanski. Aye. Victoria Jackson. Aye. Martin Santillia. Aye. Jasmine J. Simon. Aye. Sarah Wu. Aye. Victoria Solas. Aye. Karen O'Hara. Aye. Ms. Anderson, would you please present item 11.5, rate of pay increase for the best members, members serving as temporary custodians. Item 11.5 pertains to the rate of pay increase for best members serving as temporary custodians from $10.30 an hour to $14 an hour. The district feels that in order to keep the lead paying custodians working in these positions, this raise is appropriate. They have proven to be reliable and their desire to work has been positive for both administration and best members. The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending this pay increase for full board. So moved. Second. Discussion? Is there any discussion? I got a question for Martini. Um, temporary. That's our weekend, that's what we classify as under Dr. Kevin. Our weekend is the substitute kind of the work. So they get full time pay on the weekends if they work on a Wednesday. They typically would get temporary pay. But oh, we're, we're asking, you're asking to pump up to 40 Okay, got it. I kind of took issue with this too because if they're they're technically not temporary if they're already working for us. But they're temporary with yeah, the temporary union. only because we can't fill temporary positions. And I know uh, Cabelkas was trying to uh, arrange some thing with the transition things. Right? Yes. So that was I think more for Right, but I mean the if they if we did that, maybe got them in shadowing someone. Then, Substitute is more Yeah, but you're still going to need substitute. Somebody calls off that that person would fill, and we're asking that they go to the scale of 14. Do they still keep $10 on the weekend? No, they have a different rate of pay. So why are they doing any different work than they do on the weekend? It's the same work, right? It's the same. Work. But the, 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 the difference. I think the difference is not between. Maybe a better word would be full time and part time because it's weekend people are not full time, correct? They're temporary. Yeah. They're temporary. Yeah. The temporary just threw me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I agree. So because of that full time, they get paid less for doing the same job as they do on But you don't know if they're doing the same job. They, they, could, do the same job. they could be doing something totally different at a different school, at a, in a it, different set of rooms, or what? Well, they're know. working within their. You know, it's it, it's very similar to a substitute teacher. So they're coming in and substituting during the work week. Right. Except for they're they're getting paid. Well, our substitute teachers have a when they sell for us, they have a rate of pay. It's not the same rate of pay that they're if they work for class period. Yeah, that's a good analogy. How much does it cost the district for this raise? Less than ten thousand dollars. It's about eight thousand dollars. It's a good eight faith effort for our best employees. We appreciate them working. They're working right now for ten bucks an hour. Right. So. And my friend would say ten dollars and thirty cents is very close to it. 
Victoria Solis? Aye. Karen O'Hara? Aye. Ms. Anderson, would you please present item 11.8, rejection of low bid from Werner Union for Plumbing? Item 11.8, returning pertains to the rejection of low bid from Werner Union for Plumbing from Werner Union. The company will not be able to meet the state of Illinois law and requirements. It is recommended that the board reject this bid as being non conforming The superintendent, along with the finance committee, is recommending this rejection for full board So Discussion. Roll call, please. Joshua Urbanski. Aye. Victoria Jackson. Aye. Martin Tentillion. Aye. Jasmine Jean Simon. Aye. Sarah Wu. Aye. Victoria Solis. Aye. Karen O'Hara. Aye. Mr. Owen. Would you please present item 11.9, overnight field trip request? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Board members, item 11.9 is an overnight field trip request for the Department of High School. Both varsity softball team are to attend a tournament at Goldsboro High School in the next year. The students will leave one day of school and they will, they will be driving for the coaches in the new bus. This field trip will be at the expense of the students and not the district. The teaching and learning committee, along with the superintendent, is recommending this overnight field trip request for the board <coughs> Okay. Is there any discussion? I have a question for you. I mean, where are How many students? Uh, four. Never mind. Go ahead. Roll call, please. Joshua Urbanski. Aye. Victoria Jackson. Aye. Martin Santillian. Aye. Jasmine Jane Simon. Aye. Sarah Wu. Aye. Victoria Solis. Aye. Karen O'Hara. Aye. Mr. Holland, would you please present item 11.10, required for substitutions. Illinois School Code allows for school boards to substitute career or vocational <coughs> courses to meet graduation requirements if the parent gives approval for the substitutions. A list of current substitutions is attached to this memo. This list needs to be revised in order to reflect the current course catalog. The following courses need to be removed. Physics. The following courses need to be added along with the credit substitution. AP Computer Science for one credit. Geology for half a credit. Introduction to Astronomy for half a credit. Introduction to Engineering Design, PLTW, for one credit. The Teaching and Learning Committee, along with the Superintendent, recommending these structure changes for the full board approval. So moved. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Joshua Urbanski? Aye. Victoria Jackson? Aye. Martin Santillian? Aye. Sarah Wu? Aye. Jasmine Jean Simon, Victoria Solis, Karen O'Hara. Aye. Mr. Holland, would you please present item 11.11, 11, technology course requirement? Students graduating from District 228 in 2018 needs to successfully pass MIA as part of the technology requirement. If he or she does not, then the student has the opportunity to make up the credit through one of the board approved technology courses. Plus, for the current substitutions, the text is not, however, needs to be revised to reflect the current course of offerings. The following courses need to be removed Engineering Drawing and Design, Engineering Foundations for CAD Design, Audio Engineering 1, Audio Engineering 2, and Technical Driver. The following courses need to be added iPad Digital Music, Songwriting slash Digital Music, AP Computer Science, and Introduction to Engineering Design, PLTW. Any transfer student who is new to the district will have his or her transfer reviewed to determine if technology courses will be taken to pass and satisfy the student's plan. If not, he or she can meet the requirement for passing the proficiency test or completing one of these courses substitutions. The Teaching and Learning Committee, along with the superintendent, are recommending these changes to the full board. So moved. Second. Is there 
Is there any discussion? Course was replaced by a project lead so that you trust the engineer. Are they only allowed to take the courses if they fail in my English technique? No, students can take the class at any point in time. This is just to satisfy the technology requirement. So if they fail yet, they can use this as a substitute. Can they substitute one of the other classes that don't want to take? No, they have to take that. So they have to take the the original class. Right. Yes. It is, but the, the, um, the ISB just opened it up that AP computer science could actually be used as a math credit. So that's something that we have not officially approved at the board level, so that could also be a substitution for the digital technology department. Roll call, please. Joshua Urbanski. Aye. Victoria Jackson. Aye. Martin Santillius. Aye. Jasmine J. Simon. Aye. Sarah Wu. Aye. Victoria Solis. Aye. Karen O'Hara. Aye. Mr. Sanchez, could you please present item 11.12 personnel? Aye. Personnel. Jennifer Memphis is on the we have a uh, few resignations from the rest of them. Uh, Benny Martin, Jason Pearson, Alvarino Pro, Philip Palmington, and for the board we have Gina Gale, Adam Walker, Thomas Browning, Ryan King. The board's personnel committee did not meet on January 8, 2018. However, Dr. Kendall has reviewed the menu certificated and supports staff items. And these items are now being recommended to the whole board for approval. So is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Joshua Urbanski? Aye. Victoria Jackson? Aye. Aye. Martin Santillia? Aye. Jasmine J. Simon? Aye. Sarah Wu? Aye. Victoria Solis? Aye. Karen O'Hill? Aye. On behalf of all the student participants, I would like to thank the Board of Education for the opportunity to participate in this evening's board meeting. Ms. Stearns, would you please preside over the remainder of this meeting? Thank you. I'd like to thank the uh, kids for all the work you put in. We really appreciate this. It's one of our most favorite and enjoyable meetings of the year. Um, get involved, like these kids are trying to say, get involved in the community and school. To make everything better. Anyone else? Very nice meeting. Thank you for all your input, Steve. And your time. Yes. It's getting late. Those people that are under stress. Like <laughs> <laughs> I want to say one other thing, though. Uh, two years ago, that we had this over at Bremen, and it was discussing they need to build houses and stuff like that. As you can see, we're moving towards that. Man. Done. So your ideas of what you want for the school is taken seriously and we do respond to it. At this time, I'm going to ask for a motion to approve these uh, gratified students and leadership goals that were taken to the board. Andy Jones. Mr. Canning. Aye. Mrs. Jones? Aye. Um, Mr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Gleason? Aye. No, Mrs. Campworth? Aye. Mrs. Ressler? Aye. Mrs. Stearns? Aye. Aye. Yes. Hey, I'm going to take some pictures, okay? Go run away yet.